guys, I'm Evelyn and welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having an amazing day. So I actually sat down and built this yesterday, but my initial plan was that I wanted to, because I was really in the mood to build something bigger and modern for a family. And of course, since that was my plan, I ended up sitting down and building a tiny house that is boho and definitely not modern in any way. So I don't know what happened, but this is what I ended up with. So I hope you guys like it though. It's definitely been a while since I've done anything boho, at least colorful boho. I think the last time I built anything boho, it was kind of toned down. It was probably like a family apartment. It was blue and white or something like that, like very toned down, very neutral. But today we're just going a little bit crazy with colors. We're not sticking to a color theme or a color scheme whatsoever we're just going full out with the colors also just ignore what i'm doing with the flooring right there i completely forgot to change one of the sides but i'll do that off cam so don't worry it, it'll be fixed later on in the video so but anyways yeah that is what we're doing today we're building this tiny house it's built in windenburg it's built in the foresty area so the same area that i built in yesterday actually and this is on a 20 by 20 i think the house does have a double bed but I placed it up against the wall, so for some of you guys, it might work for two sims. For some of you, it won't because the scoot over trick doesn't work for everyone. I know that it does work for some people, but it doesn't work for me. So I'm thinking if it doesn't work for me, it must not work for some of you guys out there too. So it may be for two people for some of you, but the house could also just be for one person for some of you as well. I know that's a little bit confusing, but I don't know what to do about it. I, it's a glitch that I can't fix because I am not a tech genius and I don't work for The Sims. So anyways, but um, yeah, that is what we're doing today. I hope you guys like it. It does look a little bit like an off the grid cottage, but it isn't. I definitely didn't want to, I don't want to, what's it called, restrict myself when it comes to those items because a lot of them, like a lot of the items we have are not like they don't function off the grid. So it's very restrictive to build off the grid, especially when it comes to lighting, for example. So I didn't want to do that today. So I hope that's okay too. But it definitely does have like a slight off the grid vibe to it. So, but I'm kind of liking that vibe though. Like I like it a little bit more. I like my buildings a little bit more rustic, I think. So the off the grid vibe definitely suits the rustic vibe. You know what I mean? So um, yeah, but this is what we're building today. I had a little bit of fun with the roofing. I know some of you guys don't know how, okay, so I don't know the key bindings or whatever they're called on console, by the way, so you're gonna have to look that up on Google, but on computer, you just press Control Shift C, or what is it? No, that's the cheat box. Is this just Shift C? If you click on one of the roof pieces, click on or press on Shift C and you'll get extra circles that you can drag with your mouse so you can add a little bit more shape to the roof pieces. I think they added it like ages ago with the cats and dogs update or something, but I do know that some of you guys out there don't realize or you haven't figured out how to activate those extra, I don't know what they're called, the little circles that you drag <laughs> anyways. So that is how you do it, Shift C. So for the landscaping for this house, I really wanted it to look very foresty. I tried to not go overboard with flowers either because I felt like it didn't really fit the surroundings very well, but I still wanted there to be like some because flowers are cute and colorful and this house is colorful, so. <laughs> but we're not specifically going for any sort of color scheme for the landscaping. I think I mainly used these flowers actually that I'm using right here. So just the hollyhocks or hollylocks, whatever they're called. They're from the Romantic Garden stuff pack. If you like to landscape, I definitely recommend that pack, by the way. It's just a stuff pack. So, but anyways, it comes with a lot of different plants and I use them all, all the time. But those are the main flowers that we're using. Other than that, we're using some lavender bushes from base game. I think there's some pink bush as well from base game. A lot of the plants I'm using are actually base game today, but hopefully that's okay anyways. And then I also used this tree, this big tree with the lanterns. I think it's from Movie Hangout Stuff Pack, but I could be wrong. But I was just, I don't know why, I, I think I randomly clicked on it and I was like, it's got lanterns. I never use this. I need to use this. This is perfect. So now we have a huge tree with lanterns. Luckily, the tree itself does look like it fits into Windenburg here, so that's a good thing. Otherwise, it would be a little bit awkward, like if it was a big pink tree or something, it might not have looked good, but 
I think it looks good here and the lanterns add a little bit more hippie life to it or boho whatever boho feel I think a lot of the stuff from movie hangout stuff pack actually fits this house perfectly so I have been using a lot of that stuff so and then I also decided to give them an outdoors fireplace just because or bonfire I don't really know campfire yeah because I thought that would be really chill like so they can sit out there in the nature, enjoy the nature, look at the nature, look at all the trees, or I don't really know, but I thought it would be really relaxing for them to have an outdoors bonfire or campfire. I never use it, or I've been using it a lot less lately for some reason. I don't really know why. I did go through like, I did go through a phase where I used the campfire non-stop like every single build i'd find a spot for the campfire whether it, it was this one or the more the more stylish looking this one is definitely a little bit more outdoorsy but i always found a spot for the campfire and now i never use it so i had to use it for this house sorry about my voice by the way i don't know what's going on today but <laughs> just ignore it and then also here in the back of the house i decided to put down a well because i had this like empty space under the tree and i didn't want to put down another tree so i figured what would be kind of cute for a sort of off the grid looking house to have in their yard a well of course like that's obvious or I don't really know I could possibly have found something else but I don't ever use the will either so I had to use it for something and now I think we are no we're not moving on to the interior we're doing the patio so the patio is actually quite big the house itself is really really small so if you're gonna argue with me whether or not it's a tidy house today it is a tidy house <laughs> it's definitely a tidy house like it's very very small there is no living room area they pretty much just have a kitchen with a dining area and then they also have the bedroom where there's a bed obviously a dresser and a mirror and that's it then they also have a bathroom where there's only a shower a sink and also a toilet so it's a very very small house today like it's definitely a tiny house so I do realize that some of the other tiny houses that I build, especially when they're for more sims than just one or two, do tend to be a little bit on the bigger side of a tiny house. But I also feel like if you build for more than just one or two sims, you do like the house does require or it needs to be a little bit bigger because otherwise there is no way you can fit in those beds. So that's just how it is. But today is definitely a very, very small house, definitely a tiny house. I have built houses that have been smaller than this one, but I also wanted to add a little bit of shape to the house. So the bit here on the left side, if you look at the house from the front, is where I ended up putting the bathroom. But that part of the house I could have possibly taken away if I wanted to make it smaller, but I just, I wanted there to be a little bit of shape. So anyways, but on the patio that I didn't really talk about because I started going off on a tangent, <laughs> anyways, we have a dining area as well because during the summer, it would be pretty nice for the Sims to sit outside and eat together, I think. So the Sim, the singular Sim that lives in this house could invite friends over or something like that. And then of course, they also have some flower boxes, a lot of candles, and also a bench with some extra plants and yeah. So lately I've been really feeling like just sitting down one day and just building a lot. So not necessarily throw myself into a 64 by 64 or a 50 by 40 or something bigger, but perhaps like 30 by 20 houses, more tiny houses, something like that. Just build a lot of houses in one day. I don't really know why I feel like that, but I just, I feel like I have so many houses I just want to get out of my system. So I might do that one day. If you suddenly see no video, that's not on a Monday because I usually don't post on Mondays, but let's say on... Tuesday or Wednesday next week. It might be because I'm just sitting down and just building my life away just that day. I just, I don't know. I really feel like just sitting down and building. So I might do that. I might not. I don't really know. <laughs> Anyways, But if you got any ideas or anything you want to see me build, definitely let me know. You can also actually, if you got inspirational pictures, you can either send them to me on I don't know if it works like that, but you can try it on Instagram if you want to, or you can send them to me on Twitter as well, or not send them to me, but like tweet and tag me in the tweet. I'll most likely see it. So definitely, um, if you want to get in contact with me, you can do that over there. I think there should be a link to my Twitter and also to my Instagram in the description box, by the way. So just um, if you want to, you can find me there. But anyways, so I also want to say, just ignore the fact 
that I forgot a hood in the kitchen. I did go back and place it down before I took uh, before I took screenshots, so it's all good. There is a hood now. Even though they don't really do anything in the game, it still looks more realistic with a hood. I think they're called hood hoods ventilation hoods i don't really know what they're called anyways but there is one in the uploaded version of the build so don't worry about that i don't know how i just completely forgot when i was decorating the kitchen i did leave space for it i just i don't know i just completely forgot anyways but we moved on to the bedroom now as you can see it's pretty small pretty narrow i did try to fit the bed in so that two sims could sleep in it but i couldn't make room for a dresser that way because the the dressers that we have that only take up one square, which is what I have free for a dresser, they look too fancy or too modern, too contemporary, so I really wanted to use one that either looked a little bit more rustic, which is why I, I was trying to fit in the movie hangout stuff pack dresser, but it was just too wide. And yeah, so I had to move the bed so that I could fit in the dresser. Sometimes when I do tiny houses, I will leave out a dresser because technically you don't need a dresser for gameplay purposes. You can just use a use a mirror instead. So technically you don't yeah, you don't need it, but I wanted there to be one. <laughs> so yeah, I moved the bed so I could fit in a dresser instead. So I'm using this one that came with Island Living, I think. I'm also using the curtains from Island Living, actually. The garage door, I get questions about that every time I use it. It's from City Living, so it's one of the... It's like a wall decor piece from City Living. There's a lot of different paintings on it, and it's really cool. I use it quite often, especially in apartments, even though I'm not really sure how they get the garage door into the apartment. But it's just... It's nice wall decor, so... That's why I use it. But yeah, it's from City Living, in case you're wondering. And I had this weird lighting bug here in uh, the, the bathroom, as you can see. On um, I put this window that's not technically a window. It came with Island Living 2. It's open. It's just made out of wood or something. But for some reason, one side was really dark and the other one was light. And it didn't work if I like if I placed a light next to it inside of the bathroom, it didn't change the color of the window on the dark side. So I had to change or I had to place a light outside of the bathroom because that changed it. And I don't know how that works, but it did. And I'm a little bit confused about it, but I fixed it. So it's all good but kind of weird at the same time. So I also used the new open bathroom or the new open shower that we got with Discover University. I think it's the first time or the second time they're using it. Very, very excited about that item. And I think that's about it. So if you guys like this house, you can download it off the gallery. My ID is EvelynYT and you can also find it under the hashtag Evelyn or EvelynYT. And as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Put a like and subscribe and all that good stuff if you did. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye bye. Uh, every city, every place. Uh, always been a restless girl. Uh, but now there's a wind of change. I've never ever felt this way. Longing for you, pick up the phone. Catching the flight, I'm coming home. Back to the place I've always known. friend